just want to ask, uh, kind of what, what's happening with those games? Uh, what's happening with Central Path? And uh, how do you stop the big runs from other teams and stay to yourself and stuff? Um, I think in the first half, we're sticking to what we know, sticking to what we practice, our routines. And then I think in the second half, I think we get too caught up in our good first half and we're not sticking with what we're doing. And we start veering away from our routine and what we practice. And and, it, and it's costing us losing to good teams like Northwestern and Indiana State. They're both great teams, great coaches, and we're just, you know, we're not sticking to what we know. I want to specifically ask you, just about the team's rebounding. That was a little bit of a struggle today. Mm -hmm. uh, Indiana just seems a little bit better on the boards. Uh, how do you uh, make adjustments just to stop that from happening next time out? Um, Got to be more physical, boxing out. Um, we, everybody got a crash. We have to have four or five crash the boards. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and then I just wanted to ask, um, just in these last couple games, uh, what is the team not doing these couple games uh, that they were doing that five-game losing streak? Starting really hot and just now seeing them cool off. What do you think is the big uh, difference maker between those two? Wait, what you, what you saying? What you're asking? Between the five-game winning streak okay. early in the season compared to now oh, those okay. two, what's different? Um, it's basically what what, we're, what I've been saying is just not sticking to what we you know to what we do. We're we're, we're playing uh, better teams now, and we we have to complete a full forty minutes and not just twenty minutes or twenty five. We have to complete a full game in order to win. Because coach says all the time, it's it's hard to win, especially against in this league, D one, all of that. It's hard to win, so we have to com have a full complete game. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
for us after the statement about tonight's game? Tell the two halves. Um, it's been a trend the last two games. Uh, Northwestern up one uh, here, down one, um, and get our doors blown off in the second half. Um, so uh, we got to figure out what we're doing uh, to, to make the corrections. Um, I thought we did enough in the first half to have the lead. We, made some, we took some ill-advised Ill shots, some quick shots, uh, one or two turnovers. Um, but we didn't defend in the second half. You look at the numbers, it's, it's, it's really, really egregious um, in regards to how easy they were able to get shots. They shot 52 and 40 uh, for the game, but they shot 54 and 40. 54% and 40% from three. Um, and so when a team like that, you got to be really, really sound on offense. So you're not just playing one pass shot and then you got to go guard those multiple actions, whether it's ball screens, whether it's guard to guard screens. So we, we did a poor job of executing a game plan in the second half, but take our hats off. They, they were phenomenal uh, in the second half in regards to being able to get the shots that they wanted versus what we, what we did. Well, I, I think like we, we, we got to take care of ourselves first, right? I think the ball movement got stagnant uh, in those two halves. Um, I thought like if we went way too many one-on-one -on -one plays, uh, teams are going to switch us. And so we haven't done a good enough job of exploiting switches through just playing. We're going one-on-one -on -one versus a set defense, right? That's, that's full goal. Even if you make one, you're not going to make enough in the second half to beat a really good team. So we still got, we still have to play through switching. And I thought we did a poor job uh, the last two uh, halves going into the second half versus coming out of the second half versus Northwestern and tonight. Um, so we got to watch film and we got to teach. Um, I think, you know, obviously a short turnaround, we can't do a ton physically, um, but we're going to have to do a lot of film and, and a lot of walkthroughs so these guys can see the errors in which we're making uh, in the second half. Well, just playing as a team in the second half, right? I think when our offense is flowing the ball, everyone's touching it and being a part of the, of, of the action. I think there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one play. You, know, you look at we have five assists. Uh, we had, I think, three at half. So we had two assists in the second half. Um, you can't win any games at this level with, uh, versus this opponent with five assists. So the ball needs to move. The player needs to move. Um, so that's the biggest emphasis going in, coming out of tonight and, and moving forward. Uh, we're going to see a, a very you know, steady diet of, of player movement, ball movement. Uh, we're going to get out of the one-on-one, -on -one, let me bomb up a three, uh, and let me see if I'm, I'm still hot. Because that, that cost us a lot of quality possessions in the second half. Yeah, and lastly, I just want to, uh, if, if you have one, just an update on uh, Keyshawn. Obviously, he returned today, uh, but left in the second half. Do you have any update on him, what that situation is? And then Harvin as well. Uh, we'll start with Harvin. Harvin's day to day. Um, you know, he's getting better. Uh, we, we saw he missed him, not just on the floor, but just his leadership. Um, he's the one guy that can get the ball movement. Um, and so we, we really missed that. Uh, but Keyshawn, uh, we'll get more information uh, probably in the next 24 hours. Um, it didn't look serious, but we're, we got to wait for x rays and, and, and speaking to the doctors. It was good. It was good for him. You know, he put he put forth a lot of hard work uh, for the last six to eight months. I'm um, sorry, almost a calendar year. Um, so I, I was happy for him. Um, he had a lot of jitters. Obviously, first time playing at home, uh, playing against a high level uh, opponent. So um, I was happy for him. Hopefully, knock on wood, it's not too serious, um, so he can get back to action. All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.